Joining us now, happy to have BYU Assistant Athletic Director for Football Academics, Jason Ayu, joining us here in Studio B. Jace, I saw you at the uh, Cubs football camp there a couple go. of days yep. ago. It's good to have you in studio. I appreciate it. Thank you for giving me all the heat. The camps was, uh, <laughs> God, it's hot out camps there. have been a little crazy. We had unbelievable turnout. And so yeah. Our beat writer from the Falcons was on earlier, told us it was what, 99%? She, she said 90, yeah, 99 like degrees, and then with the humidity, it felt like it was like 104. Oh, yeah, so we got, we got, yeah. that we got a dry heat over here. We got here the dry heat like over that. here. But Jason's happy because there's two Jasons on the show now. It is. So I don't, you, do, you feel, do you feel left out a little bit? Well, I'm in the middle, so I don't feel left out <laughs> per se. But uh, but I do. I am interested in your opinion on our poll question. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got three groups of teams that have won ten games or more for three straight seasons, and and won oh six to oh nine one four. And BYU is on the cusp of that this year if they can get to ten wins. So which is the most impressive of those four? Oh, this, this one right now. Yeah, this season right now. Yeah, but that, that, obviously I'm part of that team, so <laughs> I'm going to say that and with our staff, but. Uh, I also like the strength of schedule. I think we've played a very competitive, competitive uh, schedule the last few years, and so I'm definitely going with. I think that's those. a great, uh, a great answer. What do you think, Chef? Well, again, I went with when you win a <laughs> national championship, it's sort of a mic drop. But you know, Jason, we were having this made this point earlier. The fact that we can talk about multiple eras of BYU football, it's where it's this, that speaks to the health Absolutely. of the program overall. Absolutely, that's incredible. That's an incredible accomplishment. And so it's great because I was part of recruiting, and that's a big part of our tradition, and it's a real live tradition that's currently ongoing. So it's, it's an, an awesome spokespiece to say, be able to share. Well, and we'll, we'll get, into, get into some recruiting a little bit because you mentioned, you, you know, obviously that was, that was your position, but you have a new position now. We mentioned it, uh, assistant AD for football academics. What, what's been the biggest change for you with the new role? Kind of explain what you're doing now. Well, you know, my very first my first four years here at BYU, I was the academic liaison mm -hmm. for football, and so I was very familiar with Trevor and all the, and all the people, the happenings over there. Uh, Kalani asked me to take over recruiting for a couple of years, which I did, and now I'm back into the academic side, which is which is awesome. It's a great step forward for the program, with uh, with the Big Twelve and expanding resources and allowing more full-time employees and more learning specialists, more mentors, and we have an incredible group up there. And I'm really excited to be able to be part of the ecosystem for the student-athlete and taking care of our guys and taking care of all the student-athletes here at BYU in particular. It's interesting because the, the, the time period we seem to be in is the uh, recruit comes to campus and wants to know what you can do for them mm -hmm. with an NIL deal and guaranteed playing time. And if I don't like it, I just might leave. Mm -hmm. But your whole side is we want to get you educated and send you out with a degree as well. So you got to find a balance in this, this new kind of wave of thinking, don't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, we're, our whole thing is very holistic. Our mindset is not on the money and the quick things right now, but we're trying to create better fathers, better men, better brothers, better husbands, and those things. And those things are all important to us. What they do on the field, what they do off the field, and their future is very important to the well-being of our student-athletes um, with the whole Built for Life and the things that we do, love and learn, our culture. And so it's much, much more than just an NIL deal on what you, I can get you right now. And if, if players are chasing that, um, Maybe not a good fit for us here at BYU. If that's just what they're chasing. If that's just what they're chasing. And what parents love to hear in that sit down with Kalani is everything you're talking about. So Absolutely. How can I make 100%. my son better? Yeah. Uh, as opposed, how can I, be, you know, how can I pay him right now? You can, you can actually get a little bit of everything now in college football. But your emphasis is, we want him here for four years, and we want him to, we want him to leave with a degree. Well, I am in a unique position where I have a son on the team. And so I'm looking at things from as a father perspective and what I would want for my son and the care and support that I would want him to have. And it's the long-term things. It's the careers after football. It's the spiritual support, the educational support, the athletic support, the medical support. All that plays into the role what I would want personally as a father. Um, yeah, but I don't. I don't know if I'd want my dad having access to my GPA. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trust me, Jazz is I'm not like that. Dad. Just take that. <laughs> take that. Well, and look, like the the big topic that everybody's excited about, and it's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, thing to ever happen to BYU is the invite to the Big Twelve. Mm -hmm. And you obviously, for, look, fans and us in the media, we can just enjoy the excitement of it. You guys have been behind the scenes since this happened, and there's so much work that has to go into getting not athletics ready for this. Give everybody an idea of what things have been like behind the scenes as you guys have really been working hard to get 
this athletic program ready to go in another season? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think it started with Tom and his, and Liz and Brian and that whole senior leadership of, of, of preparing ourselves and what does that look like going, going to uh, even the academic side, you know, even the, from the medical training side, what, do, what does that look like in other places and how can we be a competitive? And now we have unbelievable resources. We have a, a huge football staff that I'm very blessed to be a part of just for academics that's never been done before. And just that alone is exciting to see the step forward and, uh, you know, being part of the Big 12 what made that happen, you know, and opened up resources that we've never been able to have before. The last time uh, I interviewed you, I was writing down quotes for a, for a newspaper article mm-hmm. about recruiting. Um, and, and as you mentioned, you'd been uh, spearheading recruiting for the last few seasons. So where were you? What were you doing when you got the call that BYU had been invited to the Big 12? Because you knew how big of a game changer that would be for recruiting moving forward. But do you remember where you were? And, and, and did Kalani call you? Or how'd you find out? I was, I, I don't know exactly where I was, but we bent down this road before. 2015. 2015. Right? And so I was very reserved. Like, I'm a, now I'm like, I need, I, I lack faith. I need to see it. <laughs> and, Come on, Thomas. You know, like, I need to see it. That's like, we were so close before. Um, but I just remember the excitement. And I felt very, uh, we felt like we'd done something together collectively as a football program, as all the sports were unbelievable, winning championships and so forth, competing. And then, of course, with the direction of Tom Homo and President Vorking and President Worthen, it was just a. So incredible. it wasn't a call, wasn't a text, wasn't a tweet. It was just you just came to work. It was. And bubble, I mean, we've today. been talking about it for a while as yeah. a staff and trying to keep the players down, you know. And like I said, we've been down this road before, and it was just kind of like you got the Utah game coming up. Done. There's yes. a lot of things yeah. to focus on. Things are focused on. And if it happens, Klein did a really good job. Like, hey, there's a lot of things going on in the media, a lot of assignment. Let's just focus on the task at hand and. Whatever's supposed to happen will happen. That's the way our mindset was. Well, there's nobody more qualified to talk about the recruiting aspect of this whole thing than you because that's what you had, you've been doing. Mm-hmm. So give us the pre-Big 12 announcement versus the post-Big 12 announcement in terms of how recruiting has changed. Oh, recruiting. Uh, winning obviously trumps a lot of things. And we've been winning the last couple of years very consistently. Now that you have the Big 12 being invited to the Power Five, it checked the last box that most recruits were looking at, even top LDS recruits were looking at for us, do they, they don't play in the big dance, they don't play in the big conference, and now that box is checked, and we probably have more four-star, five-star, top three-star kids ever coming to visit our campuses all through spring ball than we've ever had before. And so we're indoors now, probably solid. I think most top LDS recruits would bring us in, but they didn't really sit us down and have a real seat at the table. We have seats at the table now. Well, it took a sword away from your opponents, including one that's not very far from here. Mm-hmm. They can't say, well, they can't go to the biggest games. They can't say they don't go to the biggest games, and they can't say we don't put people in the NFL. And we've done both of those things in the yeah. last couple of years, and we're going to continue to do so. And the, and the program under Coach Sataki is – we're, we're trending so high right now. It's awesome. Let's talk about Chaz, your son. Speaking of four stars, uh, one of the biggest signings of, uh, that had come to BYU out of Tempview High School, right? Mm-hmm. And, um, and injuries have been in his face for so much. But, but is it all behind him now? Is he, is yes. he ready to? He's going to hit camp on August 3rd, full board. He'll be full board, ready awesome. to go. He's had some injuries. He's bulked up. He's at 220 right now. It's just so he can play. You know, last year when, when Keenan got hurt, uh, they moved Chaz down from safety to play more back a row in the box, and he was only 208. And so this year we're prepared either way to go up, play down, play in the box, play outside the box. And he's about 220 right now, feeling really, really good. So What does that put him at? Does that put him at linebacker, or does it put him There's a hybrid. safety? Yeah, or it's hybrid again, again, yeah. Depending on the personnel, if, yeah. it's a, if it's a 4-3, he'll play the strong safety. If he's a 3-4, he'll come down into the box. So what is the expectations? Obviously, oh, look. The expectations are always going to be high. What's the feeling in, in the program, in the locker room with these guys heading into this season, which obviously will be the last as, mm-hmm. a, as an independent? I, we feel super excited about the team, about the program, about the players that we have. The, the, we have a lot of veteran leadership that's played a lot of games together. Um, and so as long as they stay healthy, we'll be – we're – Ecstatic. I don't want to. I, I mean, I'm in academics now, so I can brag as much as I want and talk. But <laughs> you can say whatever you want. I think we're going to win a lot of games and we're going to surprise a lot of people at what we're doing. I think the success, 10 wins, is, is, will not be a surprise to me. Well, congrats with your new post. Yeah, congratulations. Sounds exciting. 
parents uh, parents everywhere of kids sending them to BYU are happy to hear that that you've got that in place and and uh, and we're glad Chaz is doing well. Thank you. Thanks for having me on the show. There we go. Jason I, you appreciate you stopping by. Athletics or assistant athletics director for football academics. Appreciate him stopping by here today.